It was this past November, we were getting ready for a middle school retreat, and in the middle of the weekend, um, I was having some health issues and, and getting through some things, and I noticed I was having some vocal trouble. And I hadn't had to sing for a while because being the youth pastor, um, we had someone else leading worship. And I was in the back of the room trying to sing, and I started noticing my voice was bending. It, it was spasming, like it wasn't going where I wanted it to go. And that was pretty terrifying. I, I've walked through cancer, I've been through several things, but uh, when you're a singer and it's what you do, and suddenly you can't do what you do, uh, it'll shake you up. And I remember uh, being told by the doctor and the specialist that I was gonna need surgery on my vocal cords and that I was gonna have to be silent for at least a month. Uh, they did laser surgery on my vocal cord, but the paralyzed uh, nerve they said, there is no treatment for this. Um, all you can do is wait and just be quiet. And I'm not very good at being quiet and I'm not very good at waiting. So <laughs> I found myself just frustrated a lot. Uh, the only way I could communicate was uh, a dry erase board. Um, and I'm, I'm dyslexic and left-handed. So if I do spell it right, I'm wiping it off as I'm writing. So usually every evening ended the same way for me during that month, just me needing to get away from people. <laughs> and I would go down to a little room in our basement and I rediscovered drawing because I, I had just finished writing a record called Only Jesus and here I am and I can't sing it. And I remember going back into that little room and remembering when I was a kid um, and I didn't know what else to do, the only thing I really could do well was draw. So I started drawing again. I've never really drawn with two hands at the same time before. I've never uh, painted before. A lot of this was a first time for me but I was in a place where I was praying things that I knew I shouldn't be praying. I was saying things like, Lord, are you aware this is happening? And <laughs> Lord, you've got to fix this. This is, this is who I am. And I remember praying those things while drawing and, and God saying to me, really, is this really who you are? And during that month, a uh, little over a month of silence, God reminded me that I am not a singer. I am a child of God who sings. And if I never sing again, I'll wake up in the morning, still his, and he will still be worthy of my praise. And everything that I do will need to point to him. So this is how I worshiped for that quiet season. And now every time I get to draw this picture, it reminds me uh, that God's worthy of my praise, uh, that, that I am not the point, but that I'm here to point to the point any way I can.